Hey everyone, welcome to Garden Fork. This is Charlie and this is Henry. Today we're gonna work from a book I got from, uh, I read a blog, Alexandra Cooks, and it's a book called Artisan Bread in Five Minutes a Day. And I thought it was pretty exciting because it kind of takes off on the, um, the whole no need bread thing that Jim Leahy invented and takes it to a, a different way different way. Sorry. Anyway, I'm at a loss of words. But I want to show you guys this recipe of really simple bread and it's fun. So here we go. All right. Are you going to play or are you going to help me cook? What I've been doing here is to do this recipe, you start off by taking a bunch of flour and putting it in a big plastic container like this. This, uh, I bought this online. You can also get these I found locally at the container store. But to start off this, the, the idea with this is that you're, I don't know if it's called a starter dough or whatever, but you're making a bunch of dough that can go in the refrigerator and you carve off a hunk of it and you make a loaf of bread a day. And what's not to like about that? So we, I've been playing with this recipe. Last night we made pizza and it, it turned out really well. And I made one loaf of bread using this uh, kind of basic master recipe. So I wanted to show it to you and show you the book. This is. This is all in this book. I'm gonna give you kind of the basics of this one, but these guys, um, Alec, Jeff and Zoe, have really spent a lot of time on this, so go get their book. It's a lot of great recipes in here. Pups are still playing, by the way. We here. Yes, we here. And our, our friend, a friend of ours is visiting, so you might hear some comments, and she's an avid Garden Fork viewer. So. <laughs> so it's your mother. Jane's mom, your daughter's here. So. With your credit card. With your credit card. <laughs> That's a long start. But anyway, this is a cool container. And what I did was um, I used up all the dough that I had initially started with, but there was a little bit left in here. So you leave that in there, and it's kind of like a starter in a way. And I added six and a half cups of flour, three cups of really warm water, two packets of yeast. Oh, and I forgot to put the salt in. Well, we'll put no some salt. salt in, and no salt. So we'll put some salt in. Uh, one and a half tablespoons of salt. Jeez. All right. It's still rose. It's still rose. It's still fine. And then we're just going to carve off a piece of this and shape it, and I'll show you how. All right. Didn't somebody describe this as friendship bread? Yeah, I don't know about that. I don't know. We don't know about friendship. All I know is this guy Jeff and Zoe. We've been working on this for years, and the the bread. The recipes are really good and it's great they also have a great pizza dough recipe in there as well we had a lot of fun with that last well, night what's the difference between pizza dough and bread really well the pizza dough um, has olive oil in it so it's just it's an oil or oilier dough okay. this is your dough that sits in the refrigerator you pull this out and you're like hey I want to make a loaf of bread today so we just take this Hey. And you might want to flour your hands ahead of time. Who's that? China Pop? This uh, is all stuck. Head of China. Alright, let me wash my hands real quick. <laughs> oh, and I forgot what you need. You need a uh, peel, a baking peel for this. And of course, the ones I went to the store and they're like 30 bucks or more for a baking peel. And we have a pretty small oven anyway, so I made one. And this is a piece of two by two oak covered plywood that I cut down to fit our stove. And I sanded a beveled edge on here. And then I just glued and screwed a piece of one by two on it. So now we have our own baking peel so we can slide things in and out of the oven with this. Before you uh, take your dough out and start working with it, you want to have your peel ready and you want to have uh, cornmeal on here. Cornmeal acts is kind of like ball bearings because when you want to slide this thing off onto the into your oven, you want to have that ready. Take a little bit of dough, not dough, what's this called? Flour and sprinkle it on the top of your salt. Of your salt. <laughs> and then, so then we take this and we just pull the top down and you're turn see how I'm turning it every time and then the bottom is collected like this it's like a brain <laughs> I think it needs a little bit more flour that's about it 
This feels great. It's super smooth. My sister would approve of this. Now, now see how the bottom is like that? Uh -huh. We take this and we put it on the peel like that. And then we let it rest. So this is going to rise for 40 minutes. And at the 20 minute mark, we're going to preheat our oven to 450. If we remember. We'll remember. And you want to have, <laughs> and you want to have a baking stone, um, which is basically a piece of unglazed ceramic tile. And ours, we were using for the first time last night, and I broke it. So I have to return it. But we're going to. You gonna, didn't break it. It just broke. It broke. I'm a little surprised that it broke, but I'm going to return it. But it was 20 dollars. All right. So now we're going to put this. You want this in a warm room and let it rise. At a 20 minute mark, we're going to preheat the oven and we're gonna put some slices, little slashes with the knife across this, all right? Are you proud of my homemade peel construction techniques? Very proud. You know, not every guy can make his own bread and pizza peel. Okay, it's been 20 minutes, so this dough has risen a little bit. Now we're going to we're going to just take a little bit of flour and go across this. And then you take a serrated knife, and I got a new sharp one here, and we're going to go slice, slice, slice. Say that again. S slice, slice, slice. <laughs> I do what I'm told these days. So We have a small bowl which we're going to put really hot water in when we put the bread in. That sits there. You've got your bread stone, your baking stone, which cracked on us last night. So I just kind of pushed it back together again. And you have an oven thermometer. You have an oven thermometer here and your baking stone. And I've got this small bowl which when we put the bread in... Which looks just like... Charlie's breakfast bowl. Yeah, Charlie's breakfast bowl. Charlie, again. Right. Don't play with fire, little girl. All right, 450. There we go. Okay, we've preheated our oven now, so now we're gonna take a cup or so of really hot water, pour it in the bottom bowl here, and put our bread in at the same time. All right, so quickly do this. Ooh, I gotta get some something to pull that out. Look. Put that in there, and this goes onto the stone, just like that. Very nice. Close it up. We let it cook for half an hour. You better get the ball. It's the only one we've got. Don't get the stick, cheater. Yeah, good boy. Get the ball, Mickey. Okay. Look at that. Oh. How cool is that? So when your bread is done, it makes this kind of crackling noise as it's cooling off. I can't really, I don't think I could get it on the microphone here, but it kind of makes this crack, crack, crack noise. So we take this, put it on here, and then let this cool. I mean, I know that you want to like slice this open right now, put some butter on it, but you should really let it cool down. It cuts much better and it allows it to cool off. But this, it smells and looks great and it did not take a lot of work at all to do this. I mean, there was, there was time, but it was time kind of just letting it rise and stuff where you can go do some other work, you know, or hang out in the Garden Fork website, you know. So we're gonna let this cool off. We'll sample it. Hi. Hey. I put on clean clothes for you. For who? For you. I'm learning to uh, wear cleaner clothes for a camera operator here. So. <laughs> nice, huh? There's the bread. Looks great. Looks totally great. We let it cool off. It made those nice kind of crackly sounds as it was drying. Well, I like that. As it was cooling, I mean. And so let's have a taste. What do you say? And what do we call those things at the top? Dashes? I call them slash marks. I mean, you can you can kind of be very decorative about how you do that. Well, that's neat. It's pretty. It's really nice. Crunchy? 
Yeah, the crust is great. Nice crust underneath. I mean, it just smells like fresh bread in here. Mm -hmm. Good crust. Nice. Um, crumb. They're called crumb. I think so. I think it's a little undercooked, maybe. Well. It's easy. Oh, good. Good. It's... What do you like on your bread? Butter. Well, we don't have any butter because I turned off the refrigerator and forgot to turn it back on for the, the show. For the show. Because <laughs> it hums too much. Is it on now? It's on now. I ain't gonna touch it anymore. So.